to your viewers drishti is welcomes you to the new series of to the point today's topic of discussion is forever chemicals first of all let's see why is it in the news according to a recent study scientists have found that rain water from many places across the globe is contaminated with per and polyfluoroalkyl substances or pfas now let's understand what are forever chemicals they are called forever chemicals because of their tendency to stick around in the atmosphere rain water and soil for long periods of time they are man made chemicals used to make non stick cookware water repellent clothing and many other products that resist grease water and oil they can migrate to the soil water and air during their production and use most pfas do not break down they remain in the environment for long periods of time further some of these pfas can build up in people and animals if they are repeatedly exposed to the chemicals now moving on to the concerns they cause a variety of health risk that are attributed to pfa exposure including decreased fertility developmental effects in children interference with body hormones increased cholesterol levels and increased risk of some cancers long term low level exposure to certain pfas can make it difficult for humans to build antibodies after being vaccinated against various diseases Now let's discuss what can be done to remove these chemicals. Supercritical water oxidation. Scientists have developed supercritical water oxidation to destroy PFAs. High temperature and pressures change the state of water, accelerating chemistry in a way that can destroy hazardous substances. Plasma reactors. Researchers are working with plasma reactors which use water, electricity and argon gas to break down PFAs. And filtration system. It can be used with activated carbon in the rainwater harvesting system. The activated carbon will need to be removed and replaced regularly. Also the old contaminated material must be destroyed. Now it's time for the practice question. Consider the following statements regarding the per and polyfluoroalkyl substances or PFAs. 1. They are man-made chemicals. 2. They can migrate to the soil, water and air during their production and use. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. send the answer of this question in the comment section stay tuned for the next episode thanks for watching have a great day dear viewers watch this topic in hindi on our nidrishti is hindi youtube channel